$1.25 million is up for grabs and competing for it are the 20 fittest men and women on earth. To give you the best perspective, we have behind the scenes access to the Rogue Invitational. So we're gonna show you what you didn't see. Roll the footage. Let's go. The Rogue Invitational kicked off and the list of athletes competing are the biggest names in the sport of fitness. Right now, Laura Harvath is in the lead. Right behind her is Tia Claire Toomey with her first event back after giving birth. This right here has been the most talked about battle leading into the weekend. Six-time fittest woman on earth, Tia Claire Toomey Orr is returning to competition after giving birth only five months ago. In her absence with pregnancy, Laura Horvath won last year's Invitational and the title of Fittest Woman on Earth in 2023. But can she beat Tia in a head-to-head -head competition? So far, Tia's looking pretty good. Looks like she's just waiting for the time to bite, though. Just waiting for her time to get at that stake and take a victory. Roman and, and Adler, Adler are right next, right to, next each to each other. other. That's controversial. Holding hands, bro, because they're friends now. <laughs> During a running event at the CrossFit Games last summer, Adler was nudging Roman, pushing him to go faster. Apparently, this didn't sit well with Roman. Why you touch me? Don't touch me! No, you're gonna dream of me tonight. Yeah. I'm gonna make you. He later publicly criticized Adler for the interaction. Over the CrossFit Games, Roman was leading most of the weekend, but in a single event on the final day, he broke his foot and lost the leader jersey to Jeffrey Adler. Adler went on to be crowned the fittest on earth. No, actually we did just see we a fist bump. fist bump. Fist bump confirmed, yeah. they're friends. <laughs> Tia Toomey now has a 55 second lead over Horvath. In between them is Gabby Magala, Emma Lawson. Emily Roth is also in there as well. Patty V. One year ago, Pat had the overall lead going into the final event. And now Velder on to the final barbell. He's ahead of Medeiros. He had a dramatic two no reps and he dropped from first to fourth place, losing the gold medal and over $200,000. Can he redeem himself this year? Oh, everybody's taking their shirt off. Jeffrey Adler has made the move, guys. That's the leader right there, fittest man on earth. There we go. Yellow Hosta. Roman's back here now. What's the happening? Hosta? I feel like it's a French Danish. You know, I'll have the yellow Hosta. I got a little bit of the cream of the Hosta on me. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think. I, I think yeah. it's a stuffed pastry. <laughs> it's, we'll cut. And it's like. She never left. Opening event win for Tia Toomey here at the 2023 Rogue Invitational. Gabby Magawa will take second. And Jeff Adler with an event win in Texas Heavy. Now, Laura Horvath will be the next woman across the finish line. Now, Roman Krennikov will be the third man across the finish line. How'd it go? Uh, it was good, actually. Yeah? yeah. It was very hard. I just saw on my watch it said that I was uh, in the red zone the whole time and my max heart rate was 207. That's your max heart rate? <laughs> in that workout. <laughs> Coach, is that normal? I mean, she's only 18, so what is it, 202? <laughs> you know what, I, I took a risk. I went really fast on the first lap. So when I dropped the 50 bag, I was red line. So the whole last mile and a half was just like, bring the heart rate down. Don't walk, you're gonna live, you're gonna survive. But like, I usually don't start fast ever. So I experimented a bit. How does it feel to be back? Oh man, it's it's unbelievable, you know? Like, it's definitely different um, in an incredible way. I think it's safe to say that when I left the CrossFit Games in 2022, I walked away really unsatisfied and really disappointed in my performance. Every year, you always gotta ask yourself, you know, is this gonna be the last year? I thought back in 2020, uh, when Matt and I crossed the finish line together, that, that was it, you know? Um, and then, you know, you get a little bit of downtime, you get a little bit of time to reset and ask yourself if you want to do it again. Um, and then, you know, I just knew after competing, I just, I didn't execute some workouts the way I should have. I, I felt like I made some really rookie mistakes. I didn't want to end on a, a note like that. Then I got pregnant and uh, I've had the absolute best 12 months of my life. Um, but now I get to do it with, you know, my husband and coach, who we all, we've always done it together. 
what we get to do it with our little girl and um oh man it's just it's just so awesome on the run you and jeffrey did you fist bump him mm -hmm. only respect respect yeah respect не хочу чтобы он себя чувствовал как-то напряженно поэтому рядом бежали я ему дал кулачка думаю he wanted him to be relaxed so he like was running next to him give him fist bump okay yeah. all right I said, what does the fist bump mean? He said, respect. I don't know, man. It means whatever it means to him. Yeah. What does it mean to you? I, I was good. I was good for ever. Like, uh, I just, just a little bit of miscommunication. Okay. Do you think it's because you're French and he's Russian? Probably. Like, like, culturally I'll just talk in French to him next yeah. time. Yeah. Yeah. Like, like, yeah. <laughs> Toxic positivity. Which you, <laughs> yeah. We wanted a, we wanted a battle, but now they're friends. You know it's I'm talking Jeff. while I'm running. No, Jeff can't That's how I do it. Yeah. Of course. So Roman Roman started like pulling ahead, and Jeff looks over to uh, to Ricky, I guess. But he said we can't we can't let him go. Let's go. And I was like, dude. We're, we're trying our best. And he was like, I wasn't talking to you. And I was like, well, dude, we're all running as fast as we can, you dickhead. Like, no. we're doing our best. <laughs> no, and then he just, took off, he just took off a drop. He's like, I don't want to listen to this guy talk for the next 15 minutes. So he just left me behind. No, I was, I was a good boy this time. Yeah, we you took just awesome, bro. <laughs> practice. Practice amazing. Dude, you should come to Colorado. Have you ever been? It's awesome, bro. Is that, is that what we sound like? <laughs> all right, well, I guess that's what I sound like. Yeah, you're good. good. You know. <laughs> Sounds super surfer. <laughs> surfer dude, Roman over here. Yeah, dude. How's it feel to be back? Oh, man, it's unreal. It goes like a flash, though. It's, um, no, it's grateful to be back. I, I had a feeling at one point maybe I'd never get back to where I was with my injury. So it's just grateful to be back and be healthy and be able to compete with the best in the world. So. Is this it? Is this yeah, 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 it's a scar. That was scar. What's in the bottle? What are you drinking? It's, it's full of podium. It always is. <laughs> what would it be? Salt, citrulline, and uh, beta alanine. Oh, okay. The beta and L citrulline, like it works really well for me. Huh. Hey, is that your hey, towel hey, to hey, cover him? That's a small <laughs> towel. I'm not looking. It's a hand towel. <laughs> I, I don't want to look. Can we see these? I want to see yeah. these. Some, what are these? A couple of Thundercats? No, Black Panther and a Jaguar. Okay, what, what, do they, what do they represent? Mm. Your birthday. It is my birthday. It is. And you're catching Happy on camera. Happy birthday, dear Travis. Hey, thank you. Happy birthday oh, to you. Thank you, thank you. Wait, up, Let's go, Travis. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> I, don't ha I don't have very big boobies. I don't have very big. <laughs> yeah. CrossFit competition continues here on day two of action for the individual athletes. One point for on the board, three points for in the hole. I missed the spot escaping today. Okay, yeah, you did a little, little bit. Little, I'm embarrassed. Um, That's like a ham sandwich meat. Oh, like deli, yeah. <laughs> deli meat. No, it's called taco meat, but I guess with you, yeah, it's a little turkey, yeah, yeah. Little turkey meat. Actually. You got two minutes on the clock, 15 cows, 11 for women. Okay. And then the remainder of time to get max points for the cornhole. I'm going Heber on this. It's not about the cows, it's about the points. And yeah. Heber just, you I mean, he has the Lord on his side, so I feel like he's gonna score high. Yeah. Let's go, come on. See, what I like about this is we have fitness, but we're making it fun, you know? Bringing sexy back. Oh, Julian's first up, he's out, he's coming. Broken. Wow. Wow, okay. Yeah, put your bags down. One bag at your head at a time. Okay. You guys both cheated. Man, I'm not worried at all. He hasn't gotten any in. This is brown on brown crime right here. Give it in. Give it in. Yes! Yes! Two, one, and done. I see some discrepancies. We got 21 from Mars. 31. Told you. Told you. One game win streak. Called it. What did Julian get? 28. 28. Yeah, what'd you get? 31. Oh, we tied. Oh. We tied. We're going to have to get that tie break. Go. All right, we'll be back. We got a championship we'll round yeah, coming yeah. after we'll lunch. You got some, uh, you got back to the competition. Let's go. A little sore for me. He's calling the shot right now. Oh, my gosh. I called it way too big yesterday. I'm going to get humbled today. Okay. I'm going to call Alex. Is this, am I calling my shot? Yeah. I think I'll do well. Okay. Ooh, we got a well. Well, yeah. Do you guys do you have celebrations? prepped for when you win it. No, you did. You can't lie to me because I know. I did. It. I did and I kind of learned my lesson. Don't okay. prepare in advance. No, I feel like natural is best. Okay. All right. You know when it's authentic. Let it take over. Yeah. Yeah. You? I just just a smile. Smile and wave. A head, head bob. Hi mom. Put the hair down. 
we are underway. We start with the 20 muscle-ups on that log. That log is four inches in diameter, much thicker, a very different surface with it being a wooden material. Lawson now with five reps at 260 pounds. Emma Lawson and Alex Gazan continue to battle for the lead here. Velder and Smith going rep for rep. It is Velder making his way back to the Zeus ring first. Here goes Alex Gazan, first to the barbell in round two. Laura Horvath has moved ahead of Emma Lawson for second place. Pat Veller gets underneath the barbell for the final time. Ricky Garrard looks like he's going to hang on for the event win here. Her final set of back squats, Kazan is done. And Alex Kazan in her first career appearance at the Rogue Invitational has her first event win. Laura Horvath looking to lock up second place, not only in this heat, but also in the event. And Velder is done. We will see where that will rank him overall in this event. And Toomey will come across the finish line. Uh, it was hot out there. We should have left straight from Kauai. It shredded my wrist. Travis, how's your wrist? Golden. Golden. Yeah, yeah dad prep. Dad, dad prep. prep. That's all the groceries I carry. How do we feel? Good. A little bit. Ah, yeah, perfect. I let you win that one. <laughs> it's very polite of you. I felt like you needed it. There's no game plan for this workout. Wow. So jump on the bar and do the biggest set you can. One was the biggest set I could. <laughs> The nub failed me. Um, yeah, dude, but other than that, this is the broken hand, the nub hand. Like, I just need to send this one back to the factory and get a new one. Can we trade? Can we trade hands? Yeah, I got a really good right hand. Yeah, it looks big. It looks strong. Yeah. I think we, let's, let's make that happen. And then yeah. you'd have like a little bit of flair to you too. Yeah, you know, dude, like, I got a I'd be like, hey, I'm uh, I'm actually not totally African American, and you know, maybe you could you could be able to rap a little bit better now. Couldn't have went better. Just the last back squat. Uh, apparently didn't stand it up, but. Oh yeah. Okay. So so tell me about that. You got that. Yeah. So I stood it up, racked it. Oh, apparently I didn't stand it up, racked it, ran off and he's calling me back, calling me back. So I run back, do one more rep, stand tall, rack it, and then take off. Even with that, you took the dub. Yeah, still took the dub. And I was stressing that that was going to cost me. So I was like trying to appeal that, but apparently you can't, so but I didn't need to in the end. You're in the first heat. How does that affect how you approach that workout? If yeah, I, I just took a chance. I knew I had to take a chance. How long did it take for your hands to recover from the games? Well, to like what level of recovery? Like skin closed? To usable, yeah. Like I think I did my first rope climbs after that. Probably not until... A month ago. Yeah, like for a while. And then they were really infected at the end. I think it was the biggest thing, so... Yeah, I bet. Wow. I remember you being in the cold plunge and the doctor, Dr. Rocket, came hey man, put your hands out of there. Try not to dunk it in. Okay, hands hurt. Hands hurt a lot. I'm trying to get them in the, in the water. After the year I've had, this is, this is a nice little icing on the cake, so... How long ago did you find out you were competing? Like three weeks ago. <laughs> okay, so you had three weeks to ramp it up, huh? Three weeks, yeah. About like two or three weekends of training and... How much time did you take off after the games? I mean, probably like two full weeks of just like barely, where like we wouldn't call it working out at all. And then like another two weeks of like, oh my God, I hate working out kind of thing. So it was a good month. Do you guys like this or like the, like being in a tub? I mean, I'm a, I'm a lay flat guy. Nice white porcelain filtra yeah. filtration. Dude, would be did you nice. see that new plunge yeah. though? Yeah, the all in. I'm excited. Nick Shout Lima. out Nick Lima. Shout out Nick. Yeah. Okay, so tell me about this workout. You're happy you finished with your four reps left? I had three reps left. Three reps left. Yeah, the back squats were great. I mean, that's like a huge weakness. And the fact that I was like three reps away from finishing. Compared to last year's squat in yeah. Oh, I actually got to work out. I got to keep moving. I, it actually was no seat at the bar workout this year. Got it. All right. <laughs> yeah. So that, that was a good workout for you. Yeah. I saw you moving on the bar muscle. They look very smooth. They were very smooth. Like the last couple of reps of every set was a little hard-ish, but that was, that's, yeah, that's fine. How did you break it up? Oh, this is gross. <laughs> I did singles all the way. I feel like this, this movement is uh, like a medium heavy barbell, like this. 
So you can touch and go it, but it's useless because it's gonna just you're gonna just rest and break in between. After this, we have a longer break. I mean, if you want, you can have a longer break. Like if you don't go to Dubai or Wadapalooza or any other comps, yeah. like until the open, you have a long time. Is that what you're planning? Yeah. Okay. I will go to Dubai, but not compete. Just support my brother. He got an invite. Oh, cool! I'm just gonna do the fun stuff. Rent a Lamborghini. Yeah. Go, go ride the, the camel in the boots. desert. Yeah. Do the sand. Yeah. Gabby and I are gonna do the fun stuff and Gishtov gonna earn the cash. We wanna come challenge you guys. You guys never visit us. Like, hey. You always train in the States. Like, I, I, I don't know what to think. About I'll this. tell you why. They I've been left on red. Five, yeah. Five, so <laughs> okay, I can do that. I can believe that. I'm gonna text you. We're making it happen, guys. You were afraid to call your shot before we went out there, but I was calling it for you. Oh, thanks. Not that I didn't think you could win too. But. Uh, the dub, I was like, we gotta have a little dog pound situation. Dog pound. The dog pound. <laughs> Mama <Sibyl. laughs> My mom packed my lunch. <laughs> you know what? It's weird. I'm in great spirits, mm -hmm. but I'm shocked by some of my places. Because, <laughs> I mean, I didn't train as hard as the games, but mm -hmm. I came in thinking I was a little bit fit, and I'm like, oh, okay. I didn't train as hard as I needed to. It was about an hour ago. They said one minute until call time. <laughs> then we got chipped. <laughs> And they went over there, and they go, hey, you got a 30 minute delay. <laughs> so cool. it's a little bit of a wrench in it. Okay. So we're just gonna rewarm up yeah. again. How do you coach monkey bars? You hope they had a good childhood. All right, here we go. Events number three is the circus. We got a brand new implement out there. Randy Ross strikes first. Laura making her way to that circus dumbbell at about 447 here as we see we'll, we'll see what the gap is like that she's created. Well, Horvath is done and onto the killer cage for the second time. Imagine those bars are a little slippery, but it is Roman Pritikoff. Krennikov is off, and Krennikov is on his way towards an event win here to close out day two. Laurel Horvath is going to pick up the event win. Tia Toomey will take second place. And ladies and gentlemen, Danny Spiegel, Rick My man. My back, baby. Yeah. <laughs> Ricky Bobby, let's go. Hey, you win some and you lose some. Had a bad, bad uh, event too today. Um, I'm a pretty good skier. I can move the dumbbell pretty well. Not too many touches in my life on the monkey bar. I was on the blacktop back in the day, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, <laughs> came in fourth because I'm not in heat too. <laughs> but it felt good, bro. You get one event win, it's like you won the whole entire <laughs> Rogue Invitationals. You got one event win. He's like, yep, I won it. I won my heat. Hey, it wasn't even you a win. Heat. That was fourth. <laughs> it's all about screen time, baby. What snacks do we have here? What do you mean, bro? Are these your go-to snacks? What do you mean? <laughs> what do you mean? The gummy I'm bears? just practice uh, American accent. <laughs> oh, what you can't you mean, fool bro? me. You know more English than you let on to believe. There we go. Oh, yes. In Russia, how was that? So easy. <laughs> no, it's grip work. Grip work. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what were you pushing on the skier? Pulling on the skier. What's our RPM? 1800? 1800? What? I just I ripped my hands. I feel like a lot of guys did. It was just, I think, with the wet bars and, you know, being unsure if you wear grips or not, or some of the grips were slippery while it was wet. It was just, you had to make a decision and just stick to it once you're out there. Yeah. So I didn't even notice it until I was done. I was running to the finish and I saw my hands were red, so I was like, oh, you know, yeah, not bad. But. No. I don't love that it's day two and I got six events to go, but and some of them have rope climbs, wing muscle ups, pegboards, but it'll be fine. I'll tape them up again and you don't think about it when you're out there. So. How'd it go? I'm sweat. It's just slippery. It's like unfortunate to do a fucking event when it's water that affects your fitness. You don't even get to do fitness because it's wet and some people had more chalky lanes than others. It was tough to hang on. It was like all the monkey bars. All the monkey bars. Yeah, like if you can't go fast, then you're done. And was I was it, doing like a double swing. And was it, it wet? Was just like slow. Super slippery? It was like dripping. They were all dripping, yeah. 
Yeah, it was wet. It's rough. Started off pretty slow. Yeah, um, it looked like you were pacing it very smart though. No, uh, <laughs> that's not the that was not the way to go about it. It just um, I just kept slipping on the um, bars and like my the grips that I thought I'd try just were not having it, and then I just got rid of them and actually just got the work done. So. So literally round one to round two, you just took out your, your mittens and you're yeah, ready to go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it was like, obviously like there was a bit of technique to it as well, but I just I just stuffed up on the first round. So that was not ideal. So tell me about, we didn't talk about, on, we talked off camera, but not yeah. on camera, about your back squat situation today. Oh, <laughs> I haven't squatted over 200 pounds in two years. So when I saw that workout come out, I was like, I'm not gonna do something stupid out there and hurt myself I just knew that that wasn't gonna be smart for me especially setting up for next year so I just like I'm gonna take a knee on this one <laughs> we always talk about scale for life she's a scale for life mid competition yeah. it's awesome okay. this is what we're doing for you people oh. hello <laughs> oh my god you Kadoosh. again you <laughs> what do you back. want <laughs> How'd it go? Good, good. Did you see? Why do you have to ask me? I don't me? get to see. I got to see oh. in the back. So uh, you got to film me it in. It went very well. Went well. As good as it could. Okay, you got a rock climbing background. So that I don't know what says that. Shut up about that. It was like 15 years ago. <laughs> well, I'm saying you have a good... You have it's good like career. someone was a gymnast. They always bring it up. Like, she hasn't been doing gymnastics for 15 years now. She's been a crossfitter. Yeah. Fair enough. Okay, I'll stop bringing it up. Yeah. Yeah. Done. Yeah. Are done. you guys coming over? over? Yeah. Yeah, we'll come over. Okay, we'll see you there. Yeah. We're gonna go to Chick-fil-A. Yeah, we're going to Chick-fil-A first. Chick-fil-A? That's yeah. for dinner? That's for dinner, every night. God. It's a, it's a staple, except, broke invitational staple. Except for Sunday. Be ben and I brought it in, yeah. Last year, we went there every night. We drove, got a milkshake and some sandwiches. Awesome, I love Chick-fil-A. Yeah, I'm it's in. delicious. It's fired up. All right, good night. Getting in the car this morning, what do we find out? Flat tire, Turo for the win. Trying to rush to the venue this morning. We're off to a good start. <laughs> we got a spare on there, bro. No but... <laughs> way. Are you fucking kidding me? They really don't want us. How fast are we going? <laughs> Five miles an hour right now. We changed the tire like men do. We did not use YouTube. So we're driving on a flat spare. The event starts in 10 minutes. The, the air compressor isn't working right now, so. We can't put air in the tire. Six uh, minutes away from an Uber. Then four just started, all right? We got muscle ups, yeah. And we are underway round number one here. Pat Vellner and Noah Olsen continue to fight for the lead here. There's our van. Yeah, tell me about this photo of Julian. Like, what is this photo? <laughs> Do you, it's from the Hawaiian Trail Run. Do you, do you approve of this? Yeah, absolutely not. It's a big move, bro. I am handsome. Right. My question to you guys is it okay? Uh, like, it's your phone. Can you put the most unappealing photo of your friends as their profile picture <laughs> on your phone? He's got mud in his yeah, teeth. Absolutely. <laughs> absolutely, you can. No, I perk up every time Jules calls. So, that's what you want that popping up on your phone? Absolutely not. I think about it. I don't want to go on a Delta <laughs> flight and that yeah. pops up yeah, when he yeah. texts calls. <laughs> Toomey was only five points back of Horvath for the overall lead, looking to retake that here in 10th inning. Tia Toomey knocks this one out of the park. An event win in 10th inning. Noah Olsen taking a little time to celebrate, and he will win 10th inning. 95 points for Emma Carey. Ariel Lowen will take heat one. What's that? You took second? Yeah. How'd it go? Uh, I mean, it was just, just you had to like pace it right from the start. Obviously, ten rounds off. Uh, well, basically the twelve power snatches because I just felt like the muscle ups and the hester pushes were in the way. The rep scheme is not big enough to. Well, it has an impact, but it's not like an, you know, it's not a bottleneck. Well, I just had to make sure I was beating the, the heat before me. So is that what you're, you're cognizant about? Is like I don't want to be too far ahead of these guys if I don't have to. Be. Yeah, 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 yeah. What's the point on? You know, I'm not gonna get extra points by beating them. By like five minutes. Yeah. yeah. So. It's yeah. Good, like dial it back a little bit. You fixed the flat, huh? <laughs> oh no. <laughs> you didn't fix the we, flat. We haven't fixed the flat. We Ubered. You Ubered. We gave up. So you Amazon Prime did. Yeah, we Amazon Prime did. We lost our man card. The man card is revoked now. <laughs> from what you just no. did. You dealt what you were handed. Yep. So, I feel like that's like a Home Depot gift card. Like, right? Like you don't have your. <laughs> 
But like, look, we're giving you an opportunity to earn points, right? And once you get enough points, you then can transition the gift card in for the man card. I executed probably the best I could, just not as fast as I need to be. You know, sometimes that happens. Sports, man. I was actually looking at Victor. He was right next to me and uh, trying to keep up with him. That's the a first tough guy to keep up with. I know. Yeah, you you I know. tried to keep up with the circus guy. Frick, yeah. Yo, dude. Thanks. Nice. Thank you. Yeah, that, I didn't say that, but you, good job out there. Yeah, was <laughs> well, well, cool. It was a good fight with uh, Jake Roush. I see uh, the second hit. Maybe uh, I Eight. can yeah, have a good place. We'll I, see. They took out the rope climbs. They took them out? Yeah, the, the duel. Yeah. And it would have been good to have the rope climbs in, because now it's like very short intervals, but um, better for my hands. Hey, what are we drinking? <laughs> I've got some hydro salt. Yeah, okay, hydro salt. And that's then the, this is my protein, protein. What's your flavor for the protein right now? I have the chocolate mud pie in here. Chocolate mud pie. Yeah, but I also really like the um, cookies and cream. Cookies and cream yeah. are good. All that pressing, man. The big boys. It's tough out there, bro. 80 handstand push-ups. Too small to be a tight end in the NFL, but I'm too big to actually be elite elite in the sport <laughs> you're elite dude stop taking it away from yourself buddy Come elite on. elite but elite 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 elite. Uh, elite, sure. elite 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 i had some expectations of myself this weekend but none at the same time i just came to do the competition and uh, so far it kind of sucks honestly oh this Happy is dylan birthday. he literally went out of the hotel room and clipped on the balloon to the backpack i want the world to know yeah the volunteers brought donuts and sang happy birthday to me. How old are we? 30. No way. Dirty 30. You don't look a day how older 25. How old do you think Yeah, how old do you think I am? Not 30. What do we think though? What's the guess? Honestly, I'm going to say 34. I'll take it. So is this what you wanted for your birthday? Just a nice little heat win? I, I would love that. Yeah, and I got it. Yeah. Yeah, so now whatever happens the rest of the day, I'm good. Okay, we're, we started on top. Yeah, we started on top. It's only down from there, baby. <laughs> don't worry. For me, we started with a flat tire and we just got here. So we're off to a great start. That's okay. That's why. We're at the duel part three. We uh, are deep into it. Spiegel's looking good. She's really fast. She picks those bags up. She just won that last heat. I, I'm going to say Spiegel, but I, I don't think T is into the qualifying round. Oh, maybe that shakes up that leaderboard. Who we got? Who's it gonna be on this one, dude? You tell me. Travis, for sure. Travis, yeah, okay, training think tank. We helped him with some sad bags last week, so. But he has to win. You should do well. Hopper is first to the sandbags. Hopper is smashing this. Right behind him is Taylor. Right behind him is Mikowski. Let's go! Let's go! Remember that time his wife did the Oh, yeah, yeah, we should uh, roll that clip. Let's go! <laughs> so you have to like throw the arms like this. Let's go! <laughs> that's not how it happens. That's, at all. that's real life. Let's go! <laughs> what are you doing with this? You walk like this, like you don't walk normal. Something. <laughs> Is out front. Horvath is there. They get the first bag in. It's neck and neck. Second bag is in. Third bag is in. This one's going to come down to the finish. And I think it was Danny Spiegel. Speed takes it. In a fraction of a second. Holy crap. Spiegel's you just can't afford to make mistakes in a workout like that. I think my sandbags, I was able to do very well. <laughs> I gotta learn how to jump over the log properly though. I, the people that were doing very good were like rolling over it. I couldn't seem to figure that out. I thought I got cut after like the first one. So I made just like, you know, you pick up the sandbag and dropped it and then picked it up, but I somehow made it in and then I got 10th overall. So it's a good event. Come to Laura, and the first thing she tells me before I turn on the camera is, "You look very bad." Thank you, I appreciate that. I mean, I practiced a little bit, but it wasn't really short. Like, do I go like this? Do I just jump over and then diving underneath? I didn't want to like go left first because I'm guarantee I would hit my forehead. Yeah. So okay. I was just like playing it kind of safe. You crushed the sandbags. 
you were very impressive on the, especially the round to get into the final two. Yeah, I knew I had I knew I had, I knew I had to move there. Yeah. I was like getting faster as the heats got faster too. So well, my best duel ever, oh. and I almost made the top five by like fraction of a second. That's all it is. We're only we're only going up. Yeah, you know? I'm only getting better with age. I literally couldn't even tell you what I did. I don't know what my body looked I like. I can tell you what you did. I just don't even like know what I. I just it just came out of like my brain. That's what. Oh, this whole thing. Yeah, no, this whole thing. I did break a nail though. Oh no! Oh, no. no. oh dear. It was dad. You rip all my nails off. <laughs> and then it was just me and Laura. And she's she's cutthroat. She scares me a little bit. Just up and down adrenaline. You do it. You have super high adrenaline, and then. You sit down for a little bit and chill. Yeah. For those that don't know, it's like a 10 minute thing in between each heat, yeah. right? It could have just come down to how I manhandled the bag, you know? So it was, it's just, you know, it It was just very fast. This weekend's more about like the placing and everything. It's it's about me, you know, getting, getting back out there. It's almost like a little bit of a dry run. And yeah. just to like see where I'm at, um, see where my fitness is at and where my strengths at. Lots of things to consider that I never really thought of prior to having a baby. I've learned that, hey, I still, I still got it. The body is capable of far more than what I expected of myself prior to the weekend. So like there, it's a lot of positives to take away from this weekend. Like the log was just chaotic and very stressful. Especially I like jumped over it so far and then like fell and like ate shit and I was like, I'm out. You did too, Paige Semenza yeah. did it. So she, I think, fell on her butt. Yeah. I fell like legs over and like scooped and like fell. And then I was like, I'm already down here. So I like crawled under it. <laughs> and you crawled the 10 yards? <laughs> yeah, dude, I fucking fell. And then I made it to the next round. I was like, I'm out. And I made it. And I was like, what the heck? So it was chaotic. I really, really wanted that you like head to head, so man. Close. If I could just handle the bags the way they could, like I was there first every time. So. Man of the people, Ricky Bobby, man. Now you get to say hopping bags. Hey, baby. If, hey, if you ain't first, you last, baby. I just kept doing the same thing. I mean, it was fast enough, but I could have made it faster if I just like, because there was that dead moment of me just like floating and like just not moving. I could have just like got over quicker. Yeah. Like, you know, it was like a moment of just like floating. I could have just like got over quicker, but yeah, sandbag helped. This is what's happening behind the scenes. You got all these people watching and filming. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Don't mind us, we're on our day job. What happened to my tune? I gotta switch the song. Yeah, mix it up. You gotta keep the rhythm going, we're losing it. We got DJ, we a security DJ. Ready? Oh! Oh! Oh, yeah. Workout data provided by Whoop! Alright, shout out to the Whoop. I'm gonna tell you about my sleep performance because I know you care. I you do. care, don't I you? I do. Tell me what you got. 69%. That couldn't be that number. Yeah. These guys thought it was funny. Yeah. They laughed. What about I, you? I'm at 66%. Uh, and this is pretty good. Yeah. You know, you got six hours of sleep. You got 69% after six hours and I'm 92% recovered, but what they really want to know is who was on the Butter Gang? Butter Gang. Man, these guys. Shout out, gang. The Shout out to the Butter Gang. Let's go find out. You guys can talk. You're fine. Sabrina Lambers out of DE. I don't know what that means. Uh, she's got martial arts, stage performance, box fitness. Sabrina, slide in my DMs on Instagram, and we are going to hook you up with a brand new bottle of sleepy collagen from Podio. Sleep well, sweet dreams, and uh, that concludes Whoop and the Butter Gang. If you're not in the States, we'll send you something else. Bye, honey. We out. All right, up next, we got Woo. a max deadlift. They're going to have four platforms to go at the same time. Who you got? Who do you got? I mean, for the men, I'm going to say Chandler Smith. Okay. For the women, Solid. I'm going to say Danny Speaks. Okay, well, in that case, I got to go off. So I'm going to go Patty Vellner. Oh, One more Patty V for the deadlift. And uh, if you're going Speaks, uh, I'm going to Laura. Laura, okay. I'm going okay. Laura. All right. Yeah. All right. Champ. Let's see how it goes. Big weights going up under the lights. This year, it's the max deadlift. Okay, right now we got Emma Lawson to push in a bar at 365. This might be her last lift. Be be your last yeah. lift. Let's get it, get it, mission! Above the knees! Above the knees! Oh! And she 
got it! He got it! There goes my Uber. He was very kind in texting, but he didn't really want to help me, so... <laughs> oh, he's sick. Well, I've left Julian and Marzen at the venue. I'm trying to get my man card back. Do I look man enough? You gotta do this then, huh? Yeah. See, I don't. <laughs> We got that man card! Let's get some. Let's get back over to the venue. Fish was out. Not the size of the fish in the fight, but the size of the shark in the dog. Yeah. yeah. And if she doesn't win, there's plenty of fish in the water, you know? There she goes. Oh! Oh! Boston trap. Can we just talk about how Chandler's dressed like he's at his local rec center? <laughs> what are we trying to tell Pat right now? <laughs> he looks lost. He looks lost up it's a, there. It's a lot of know. work to pull those bars when you gotta climb that hill pulling a bag tomorrow, right? <laughs> you tell him it's enough, Tap. I think that's enough. <laughs> I think he's. I don't think the guys that are gonna beat him are gonna be a problem. Right. I think, I think uh, he can do it. I think he can. Okay. Are you guys worried because it's kind of a full moon that he might get sunburned? <laughs> <laughs> Here comes Tudor, dude. Let's go, Tudor! <laughs> Spiegel hitching it up. Get to the knees! Get to the oh, knees! Patty Bounder alert! Patty Bounder alert! Patty Bounder alert! Kazan for the win. Easy money. 425 is good for Alex Kazan, and she takes home the event victory. That's our girl, she got it! Hawaiian training camp! Hawaiian training camp! He was there! Let's go, Alex! Yeah! One more? Well, Chandler Smith asking the crowd if they want one more. He has already won, has Chandler Smith. Chandler! 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 Here comes Chandler Smith, 6'10. And sending the crowd home happy is Chandler Smith. Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! And I'm running all the way to the back now, so we can talk to these athletes about that. Double overhand grip. Everyone is like talking about well, I'm that. I'm just curious like, because that's how I deadlift. It, okay. It's not a grip thing. It's a you know it's a. Yeah, you feel like you, you get you're able to get your shoulders back more. Yeah. It's like you can like bend the bar, and that's what I do, like, and then. You got it. I mean, and it's working. It's just like banana. Were you happy with those numbers? Yeah, with the numbers, right? Is that a PR number or? Like... I think 400 or 405, the most I did, and this was 415. Yeah. It and was the... fast slow motion, but it got up. It was grit. It was grit. It was awesome. Getting off the floor, it took it took us all like 10 seconds to come from the floor to the knees, but you you got it done. Yeah. So it's all work. I PR by one kilo. One kilo PR. Yeah. We'll take it. I will take it. Yeah. Okay. You guys going to Chick Fil A now? Yes, sir. Okay. Do you like Chick Fil A? I like it, but maybe not three days in a row. <laughs> last, day, last day, best day. They're closed on Sunday. We have to. <laughs> Tied my PR. Tied your PR? Yeah, 380. How long has it been since you hit your PR? Uh, 2018. I could have probably PR'd, but I think as soon as I start to like, you know, just kind of go like this a little bit, like around, back, like dog form, I'm like, no, I don't want to do that, so I dropped the bar. Danny Spiegel started her lift with that, though. I think you could have got it. <laughs> yeah, she did that. I was like it so was surprised. Working. It was, it was working, working the whole her. time. Yeah. Yo, my back. Yeah. I'm feeling good. You start with a rounded back. Oh yeah. On the deadlift. Is that with very everything. intentional? If you, yeah. If you look at any of my lifts, clean, snatch, anything, like I do start with a like a rounded back. It's just They would say that's not sick. Hundred percent. I'm fine. Yeah, all right. <laughs> I mean I don't know. I think there's like a lot of like back and forth with that. Like there's a lot of power lifters that do like the slight rounded back in the like the lower back before they like go. Yeah. yeah. I mean girl, I was I'm not this. I was lifting my life out there. <laughs> PR? Yeah. How much? Yeah, uh, 10 pounds, I think. Yeah, well, we haven't really touched anything heavy until when I was at Mayhem for the games. So we like did a deadlifting yeah. thing, and I hit 385 for two. So we're like, okay, 400 would be nice. 
waited to pump up the shoes, one, two. I saw you pumping them up. And then I was like, okay, I got this. And then it, I didn't. Wait, I you did pumped them and it didn't get them? Yeah, I pumped it on the 400 because oh. I was like, this is going to be the shit right here. It was not. Yeah, it's it not at all. Just, <laughs> I was calling my shot a little yeah. bit. Yeah? Before, yeah. Because you didn't earlier. You were like, like on the other event that you won, you were like, eh, 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 eh. Yeah. But this one, you were like, this is it. This is the one. Wins. Yeah. Yeah. I like it because it's unassuming. Yeah. Like, I just kind of can fly Sneak under the radar. There, yeah. And then you're just like, oh, there she is again. <laughs> I'm signing a birthday card for Ariel Lowen. Are you going to get in on it? Yeah, if I can, I don't know. Just is this kosher? Just rip a piece? Yeah. Oh, I don't. I didn't need that. Yeah, you did. Oh yeah. You see how much better I feel? Fan of Speaks. Been saying it for years. 50 pound PR out there. Shit. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah, my back is uh, hurting though. So it's, hey, it's been a good day. It's yeah. been a good day. Yeah, tough, yeah, little, tough little morning, but hey, we're good. This guy did it for Home Depot. PR. Heck yeah, dude. Yeah. When was the last time you did that? Oh, wow. Long time ago. <laughs> All right. And I'm gonna feel it tomorrow, but it was good. We're still yeah. PR. Look, hey. There's hope. 33, four kids, if I can do it, yeah. so can you. Yeah, Maybe we're not. winning too, we got the tire fixed. I love oh, this. did you? Yeah. Well, <laughs> the, the place fixed it for you. But yeah, you, you gotta change Hey, I changed it, I changed it by myself. I was fighting off homeless people, and we made it happen. I love the smell of lumber. Oh, it is a good smell. <laughs> Your parents were concerned. Why? They, were, they were trying to call you off, they're like, you're good. <laughs> that, I, that was, I was looking for you. I know, I went down. To try down. and make the call, be like, you see what's happening. That's I don't care about Chandler and Tudor. And I was like, I should try one lift on the front bar because it's fun. So I did one and then I was like, I don't even think I should try the 605, but I was like, whatever. I'll Pat, just... remember when everyone yelled out Pat and you waved at them? Yeah, I thought yeah. it was just my parents thought I was looking for them. And I'm like, no, <laughs> like, us. I'm trying to like, it was us, I okay. was up there, and then I ran down, and then twice you looked straight in my direction, and I went like this. Wow, it's a stadium. Like, if I look this way, I'm looking at a thousand people. I dropped it, because I was, I was gripping in my fingers to save my hands, and then when I, like, hitched it, the bar just started, like, pulling my fingers, and, like, the knurling just rips your hands. So I was just like, it was like, I didn't need blisters on all my fingers tomorrow, so I just dropped it. We're waiting for Chandler Smith. It's, uh, what, 10 p.m.? Yeah. It's yeah. late. He's the last one on the field, high-fiving, signing autographs for every volunteer that doesn't even want it. Um, <laughs> and he's, you know, he's, he's seeking people out. Well, I thought Pat, Pat's, Pat's kept looking, like, way better than mine, so I was, like, very convinced that we were going to be in it for, like, another two rounds or so. So I, did, I wasn't even in, like, fun mode. And I was like, man, I've been getting drilled all weekend. Like, I want to have one fun moment. So I was like, throw some more weight on there. And I was like, this would be really embarrassing if I go again. It was a bad idea all around, but uh, I think I won't remember any of that. I'll just remember the, we got the fun parts. Done. We got it. Yeah. You signed autographs for every person in the venue. Yeah. On your way out, dude. I, I, you never know. Like one of these days is gonna be your last, the last time that someone's gonna wait to, uh, to for an autograph from me, right? Like, and I've been in and out of the game before. I lost the finger in 17. I was deployed in 18. Like, got sick two years ago or whatever. Like, I, it could always, it could be gone. I can never do this again. So, like, I always try to take it. My, my dad was playing, like he always made a point of always sticking around no matter how long it takes. Like if people take the time out of their day to come out and like watch you, the least you can do is like sit around and sign their stuff. I do, I do exercise for a living, right? Like it's not that hard for me to stick around and make people feel like welcome and thanks for uh, making the moment what it is because it doesn't happen without them. Why you're loved. Try my best, okay. man. It, yeah, we both got event wins today. That's fun. I was going to say it's cool to have strong friends. Maybe he thinks it's cool to have fit friends. <laughs> but uh, that was good. It's a good day for the boys. You guys don't know about this, Mars. You don't know about it. It's our newest product from Podium. So it's, uh, it's a nighttime hot chocolate that you're mm -hmm. supposed to be able to Take is a sleep aid. Nice, yeah. It does have some melatonin in it, if you were wondering, three milligrams. What else? What else collagen. is in it? Collagen, 16.2 grams of collagen. It's also got lemon balm. Ooh. Chamomile. Ooh. L-thiodine. I can say that twice. Here's Cheers, the sleeps, guys. here's the sleeps. Oh. Sleep collagen. Cheers. Oh, that's good. That's good. <laughs> that's good. Tastes like rich hot chocolate. Yeah. I can wanna get cozy. Movie. That is so good. All right, so this is available right now. You can go on 321podium.com, get yourself some sleepy collagen. It's worth it. Three events remain before we crown two more champions here at the 2023 Rogue Invitational. We're on the job site. Hey, I'm trying to get my workman's comp. <laughs> We're on overtime, baby. Hey, Chief. Are you just cheaping? Are we men at work? Yeah. <laughs> Happy Halloween. Yeah. How are we doing? <laughs>
We just wanted, we wanted to show a professional for rug, you know? This is a pro move. <laughs> I had it ready, had it unlocked. This is what's in my man purse right here. All right, we just did another, another segment at the uh, Iron Game tailgate show. How'd it go? I think it went really well. I think we were prepared with how we looked, with the aesthetic overall. Safety is our number one concern. Number one. Yeah. Here to help. You Where'd want you to get my shoes while you're out there? <laughs> Where'd you get them? Would they fit my feet? No. What size foot? They're 13. Yeah, yeah, they wouldn't oh, fit. Oh, Julian's light. Yeah, I don't know. He's a 12. He's a 12. I can squeeze in. <laughs> That'll be fun. I'm not going to break the record. I'm already bleeding. Since we were tied up in the broadcast, here's a quick recap of what went down during Event 7, Hulk Hands. Now Horvath and McGowan advancing to the Fat Bells along with Lawson and Anganese. Horvath is done. But Laura Horvath destroyed it, taking over first place overall from Tia Claire Toomey Orr. Her second event win of the Rogue Invitational. Laura Horvath is your new leader with two events left. On the men's side, Dallin Pepper crushed it in heat one. And Dallin Pepper will take heat number one. And in heat two, Roman took the top spot. And Roman is just gonna go ahead and hydroplane his way down the hill. And Roman Krennikov is not going to win the event. That will go to Dallin Pepper. Deep hat. I haven't talked to you since your event win. Three for three on- Let me help you out. You know, yeah, that's no. what we did. Well, Jason copied my celebration yesterday, <laughs> so I copied his today. Three for three on Echo Bike workouts this year. Semis, games, this one. Solid work, dude. Yeah. Yeah. The second you sat down on the bike, I was like, it's over, guys. It's over. <laughs> well, I think I got a little bit lucky because Roman was definitely chilling, and I guess the, the clock on the field turned off. Uh... So he couldn't see the clock, and I only got him by four seconds. So, but he's fine, he's fine. Tell me about the uh, the sled hill on the first one. So you pull up the sled. I think you were the first to slide down. Am I yeah. not mistaken? And, and then, then you, she, in, you influenced Roman to slide down. Apparently. But my slide was more graceful than his. He looked like he was in a water park. <laughs> it was like King Kong stuff. Yeah. You know, like, oh yeah, Hulk, Hulk. Um, but yeah, no, they, they felt pretty good. Um, honestly, I don't really know what to say about them. There was a lot of posterior and obviously from like Yesterday, it definitely adds up, but it's an even playing field because everyone's going through it, so. Event eight was Big Cat, and this event initially had a pegboard, but that had to be removed because of rain. Instead, we had some added handstand walks. This was a story of heat one victories. Danielle Brandon smashed it for the women. It's like how easy I walk on my legs. And Danielle Brandon will come across the finish line and win heat number one. And Victor Hoffa crushed it for the men. Victor Hoffa is in. But the big developing story here was the overall leaderboards for both the men and women. Toomey is done. Now the question is how many points will she pick up in the process? Because Tia beat out Laura Horvath, they're now tied going into the final event. And then for third place, Gabby Magala and Emma Lawson are also tied. For the men, Patrick Vellner had a huge lead coming into the day, but took ninth earlier and a tenth place here on Big Cat, opening the door for what could be an exciting finish between Vellner, Adler, Krenikov, Hopper, and Fikowski. Adler in a foot race now with Vellner. Adler moved out of his lane. He's across. Olsen's going to edge out Vellner. Pat Vellner will have a few more points shaved off of his lead, but still in very good position to win his second Rogue Invitational Championship with now just one event remaining. How do you feel? Those are some crocs. Are these all things? Yeah. I got it. I like them. How did they roll over? Good. Yeah, there, there was a lot of handstand walking, but it was fun. I liked it. And they took out pegboards and they added a bit more handstand walking. I don't like Yeah. <laughs> But I mean, so is handstand walking. So I just think pegboards are a bit more of an advanced skill. So yeah, I don't know if it would have ch changed a whole lot, but I think it maybe would have changed a little bit. I don't know. I think it still would have been a top finish workout for me with pegboards. I'm really, I would say I'm really good at pegboards. Don't yeah. let that be a question yeah. out there. Yeah, we got it. I still would have been Either way, very good. I'm walking out on top. Yeah. Girl, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> Like, get out of here. What's this? No media allowed in this area. Especially not with these ugly shoes. <laughs> Jesus. Did you guys wear the Crocs that they gave you? That, no. <laughs> Believe, uh, Crocs are the ugliest shoes on the planet. Whoever wears them, I don't trust them. You don't trust them? No. Hey, my eyes are up I here. Those, my though. eyes are up here, bro. Are those like moon boots or something? Yeah, moon boots. I need those. Just be like... The goal is top 10, and I think that's 
it'll put me in the top 10. So I'm oh, happy with that. That's a good position to finish with. She was lying on that goal. Goal was podium. Was we reshifted <laughs> goal. <laughs> yeah. We realigned our goals we, after. We realigned our goals yeah, after yeah, right. uh, the first two events. Thanks yeah, for all honesty. Yeah, yeah I'm an honest guy. After two days, we were like, top 10 is great. Top 10 is great. Yeah. <laughs> and so, no, to be honest, ninth and higher. Yeah, yeah, because we don't want- Because there's a huge yeah. pay you don't, want double, you don't want double digits. No, there's a huge, huge pay, pay difference between yeah. 10th and 9th. We're poor. That was a fun one. Well, for you, you actually knew you were handstand walking on the way back because you watched us. <laughs> but someone in your heat ended up winning it. Yeah, so. I mean, well, there's Danielle on her hands. Yeah. But it was good. It was fun. I think she should have had to do the box jumps on her hands, too. I think so, yeah. too. That makes I think it even? We, I think yeah. we should have still done pegboards. The legless pegboards would have been better than that. Okay, little one. <laughs> but that was what the was supposed to be, so you would have been prepared for it. It's my third year celebrating birthday at Rogue. At Rogue. And all three years was like something happening in the sense of first year I didn't do good, second year I got injured. This year I'm like happy with my fitness, but somehow execution is not there. How long ago you gave birth? Oh, five months ago. Five no. months ago. Do you feel like you'd be in first place five months later? Mm -hmm. at your no, not at all. So it's definitely one of those things where like, I'm really proud of and um, really pumped. Um, super excited, but super surprised as well. Um, but with all that said too, it's not over. We've still got one more workout to go. And um, whatever it is, it, it is what it is. And uh, I've just got to give it my absolute best effort. And I'm, yeah, like this weekend, there's definitely been a lot of highs and a lot of lows, but that's competition. And that's the nature of the game. and. Yeah, it's, um, it's been awesome. I've just had the right team around me, which has been really cool too. My bag. Your bag. That's my bag, so we switched. Yeah, okay. How was Chick-fil-A? Delish. I'm What'd so happy they are close on Sunday. <laughs> it's funny, you get eighth at the games and you're like, yeah. You know? Yeah, you hear, you're like, oh, you're eighth at the road, you're like, oh, it's not any points. <laughs> right? It's I hard. got like, what, eight, eight times eighth place this weekend? I'm like, that's hard. I have this curse. You know, it's just like, you know, at the games you come 6th or 8th or 10th, you're like, nice, that's a solid. And then here, you're like, oh, that sucks. But it doesn't, because yeah. it's the best in the world, <laughs> but it doesn't get you a lot of points. It's just because we're only 20, 8th yeah. is like, like mid-back. Yeah, it's like, like 60, 60 points. It's not that many points, but it is like a good score. It's weird. So I'm like, let's go see what the girls see the are doing. Real quick. Yeah, the we women, got, we got Lauren, Laura, first, Tia, Tia, Gabby. Gabby oh, tied, tied. Tied for third. And, and then Alex. Awesome. So tied with Laura, and then third place is Gabby and Lawson tied. So that's going to make for a very interesting... Usually, uh, so that they're tied, but they're not, because the tie break yeah. goes to Laura right now. Right, yeah. I think the men won't be as exciting because of Pat. The rest of the podium's up for grabs. I think I'm going to have a 30-point lead on third. We were talking about it the other day in the locker room. Like Brent was like, most of us got here. This is your second or third sport. Like I was like gymnastics, lacrosse, and then CrossFit. You need more tape? We're running out on site, I think. They're going to have to fly some more in. <laughs> You know what? They're feeling better now. Three for three. Who's gonna know what that means? You're making fun of this caption right now? Yeah. I know what it is. You know what it is. I mean, I know what it is. I know what it is. You know that I am now the king of the Echo Bike. He has three and oh. Not only against me, but against me and Roman. About time people start uh, mentioning my name. Recognize, dog. <laughs> Recognize. Beat us. I said it on the broadcast. They, he, sat, he sat down on the echo bike. I was like, my boy's about to power the city of Detroit. And then we talked about you. And I was like, my boy, Jason Hopper, is just gonna, he's just going to be sending moist wetness everywhere. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. I don't watch movies over again. I don't read books over again. But people are telling me, like, Harry Potter's different when you read it over. Hit us know in the comments, dude. You read, how many people have read Harry Potter twice? You catch different things. Uh, we found out the last workout. Lots of cleans and double unders. How's that way for you? Good. My back's just feeling it. <laughs> Last time there was 30 cleans, I won the workout. I just gotta keep Roman behind. That's it. I think I can come 15th or better. That's all you gotta do? Something like that. That's all you gotta do. He knows the math. The only thing I can do is get first. Then he has to do whatever he has to do, but... 
and do whatever I want to do. I mean, there's only five fans, so you just no. But that's the very end. <laughs> I'm playing. Isn't that unsportsmanlike? Can we get this guy kicked out? <laughs> Who do I talk to? We're gonna finish first. I'm gonna do everything again to finish second, but it'd be kind of cool. Reverse games. I appreciate that. After what happened last year, I deserve it. R remind the people what happened last year. I was hunting for first place. I failed two clean jerks. I dropped to four. It was five points in second place. So I needed to beat Justin by two places because he had the only tie break. And then uh, I was pushing at the end, and in the last five reps, I failed two. And he misses a rep. Adler's going to win the event. Here comes Krenikov. Felder missing reps. Chandler Smith comes in. Justin Medeiros may have done it. And now Felder is across. Drop me off the podium. How much money did that cost you? About 200 grand. <laughs> US? Is that in your head at all fresh this weekend? No. Oh. No. no, I haven't thought about it for all year. Velner was so close. So close. That's why I'm trying to remind him. If you're not really in contention for the podium or the win, it's like, not that it doesn't matter. Nobody's counting themselves out, but it's not as, we're not thinking as deeply about it, I think, as we would a little earlier in the competition. Is that, you know, the, the is that fair to say? Where he's like, survive! That's kind of the vibe right now. He's trying to survive. I have a good feeling about Laura taking it on this one, solely because she's using my jump rope. You came without a rope. I did come with a rope, but it's at the hotel, because a rogue has the heavy rope. I was like, if you do a jump rope, it's definitely going to be heavy. Not just like a, this is like a rest. <laughs> I know of three athletes who did not bring a jump rope to the event today. Alex Kazan, Laura Horvath, Emily Rolf. Guys, that's a rookie move. I brought big yellow boots. You can bring a jump rope. We've got the final event going down underneath uh, the stadium in the, in the breezeway here because of the rain. We're not going to freeway overpass right now. Yeah, we just got to remember safety first, everybody. Yeah. I don't think anybody else took this. He's safe to read it. No, no, no. All right. One event for one championship. It's winner take all as we are down to the final heat. In five minutes, we're going to get going with the bar boys. I'm nervous right now. Yes. Yes. Is <laughs> It's a double heart attack. Tia Toomey and Laurel Horvath, they are tied with 680 points. Whoever wins between the two of them will take home the championship. Meanwhile, Gabby Magawa and Emma Lawson, they are tied in points, and it is time to crown a men's champion. And right now, Pat Vellner is very much in the driver's seat. Jeff Adler currently sits in second place. He's 15 points up on Brent Fakowski. fakowski has got to hold off Roman Krenikov. Krenikov is down by 10 points, which means he has to beat Fakowski. He's got to get one person in between himself and Fakowski in order to make up that deficit. Everyone got through the jump ropes and to the power cleans at the same time. Jeffrey Adler's first back to his double unders. Very smooth. Laura Horvatia and Emma Lawson all at the same time grabbed the barbell. Adler Fikowski back to the jump rope. Pat is the last to start his double unders. The power cleans are fine. It was the squat cleans that like... Felt like eat. mashed potatoes? Yeah. You know what yeah. mashed potatoes are? You have those in Australia? Yeah. 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 Josh Bridges. Just... Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, you know, the reference. Yeah, yeah. yeah okay. Tia is first to pick up the barbell. Right behind her is Lawson, then Horvath. <laughs> Stress level. Oh, God. My hope horse is getting a good shot. I can see his yellow hat out there, but I can't see what's happening. It's a close race. Adler continuing to lead. Brent Fikowski's onto the barbell, as is Belton. Now here comes Krenikov. Emma Lawson continues to lead Gabby McGowan. Horse two runs ahead right now. Looks like it's hers to win. Come on. Let's go. Jeffrey Adler is first to the clean jerk. Brent Fikowski to the barbell, along with Pat Belter. Here comes Roman Krenikov. Laura's gonna win this. As Tia Toomey just now getting into the barbell, Laura Horvath looking to defend her championship here at the 2023 Rogue Invitational. Adler is in, and that should be Jeff Adler's second event win here at the Rogue Invitational. Laura Horvath, and she is your 2023 Rogue Invitational champion. Yeah, let's go, Gabby! Oh, Roman made a oh. big push. What? What a time for Laura Horvath. 3.46.61 seconds, and Emma Lawson is in. 
and that may put her on the podium as now Tia Toomey will finish up and she gets across the finish line looking to take second place. He might have just lost the podium oh, spot. Oh, oh, no. not again, Not again, not again, not again not oh, no. Justin Medeiros is looking in now. <laughs> oh, gee, that's low. That Pat Belder is going to pick up his second Rogue Invitational Championship. He had a 90-point lead heading into the day. Ready, Belder! Is that back to back? That is back to back. Hey, barbells are going to be coming through. I left everything out there, so I got to be happy with that. And I ended up working out pretty good. Oh, sorry. That's the most Canadian response we could think of. Sorry. Sorry. Okay, so you left it all on the table, you got on the podium. I think so. I don't know 100%, but I'm pretty sure. I didn't really feel like myself out there on the final. I'm just very disappointed in my performance. So that sucks because like, thank you. Because when you do the workout and you leave competition floor, you want to feel like you did everything. That you, that you could? Yeah. I don't think I could go harder, it's just... I wish I could go faster. Like, yeah, I think I, I reached that, it was just not enough. Okay. On, on the run. Quickly, come on. <laughs> you gotta get it ready. Okay. Super stoked with my, uh, my placing this weekend. I wanted to win, but I had no idea where I was at. And so, like, to come back, you know, podium and you know for it to come down to the last event it's just reassuring that man with more time on my side I know I can definitely or I'm proving myself right that I can get back to where I was if not even better and I think that that's what's so exciting and I guess like the biggest takeaway from this and so I'm just really really happy um, you're back-to-back -back rogue champion. Yes, sir. Yeah. 2023 20, fittest woman on earth. Yes, sir. What do we do now to get ready for 2023? We go and rest as hard as we work out, and then we go back next year and do it all over again. Okay. Uh, no trying to peel some no reps, baby. Yeah, I saw him. You're talking about thirty thousand dollars for two reps. Yeah, I'm yeah. appealing. Yeah, hit it for sure. Dude. Happy birthday, dude. Bravery. What? That's the coolest name I've ever heard. You're strong, dude. You want to try the cowboy hat on for a picture? Can I give this to you as a birthday present? Would that be cool? Yes. Boom. Happy birthday, dude. I knew it was your birthday. And so I'm really sad that we didn't get to celebrate together, but I'm hoping that next year, same time, same place. People's champ. People's champ. People's champ. People's champ. People's champ. He was singing happy birthday to Sandra. Yeah. I can confirm. So much. No problem. It's Sandra's birthday. Yeah, you Sandra. Know. Yeah, big you know, deal. Sandra. Big deal. Yeah. You know Sandra. Of course, you guys Sandy. know Sandra. Of course, Sandy. We're all Sandra fans. Yeah. Sandy for, yeah. her, for real friends. Yeah. How's, how's the hands? How's they hold up? Hands, a little bit of blood, knees, a little bit of blood, shins, a little bit of blood, other hand, a little bit of blood. <laughs> that means I'm alive, though. If I wasn't bleeding, that would mean you're dead, which is way less awesome. Whatever. Welcome to Australia. 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 Welcome they don't ask how, they ask how many. I'm lucky I was good, so good on uh, Friday and Saturday. It's hard. I, I want to be happy. Hey, good job, old man. Thanks, buddy. Exactly. I want to be happy to just still be competitive and like be able to go out and still mix it up. Can I feed you? Yeah. Okay, I can try to do that. But then you're like, you know, you get in it and you get really invested and like by the last day, like nothing less than first will do. And it's just, you're like, you just are competitive and you can't help it. So, you know, there were some great performances and there were some not so great performances. So, all things considered, I'm happy, but there's always things to work on. So. Pat had a great weekend. Like he was composed, he was there. He put, he put the effort in and uh, well, he won. Just by 20 points, but he won. Those are some shoes. Yeah. I mean, Crocs was a sponsor, so I wanted they to give him some love. Hey, you know? <laughs> supporting the brand, supporting the brand. <laughs> exactly. Man, was, How did it go for you guys? You know, like obviously not ideal, but uh, being able to pivot with the weather, you know, 81 day, raining at one point, changing by the hour. Um, but at the end of the day, safety for the athletes and, and volunteers and everybody made this happen. It was awesome. We're not in costume. We're just we're uh, in uniform to go to work. We oh, actually yeah. have a conjunction job. That hard hat is, uh, does not look like it's rated for much. but. <laughs> Oh boy. Yeah, I don't feel a thing. 
I don't feel a thing. I feel great. What do you know? <laughs> not Jack, especially not about workplace safety. That's it. I mean, I want to give a shout out to the ghost, Patty Valney, for taking it, you know? Oh. The ghost and my best friend, Laura Horvath. Yeah, you know? she's uh, the light. <laughs> yeah, she yeah. seems to really enjoy my outfits yeah. and fashion sense. Yep. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. We'll see you in the next one. Good luck, good luck, good luck, good luck.